Hey there travellers, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Emily and Aramis and we're all about chasing epic moments in the great outdoors. Now, if you've seen our last video, you will know we were very close to being blown off the top of a mountain. It was quite the experience. That was mental. But hey, that's part of the adventure, right? And speaking of adventure, today we're driving to a forest park for an exciting second day of exploration. So grab a cuppa and let's explore a new place together. Time to make some memories. to escape quickly bears or like any wild animals and you just need to jump in the car and, and escape you can reverse it in i don't think there's going to be any bears here though. there is bears there's bears apparently bears there's wolves and all sorts of animals yeah so we arrived at the car park of this uh, trail start it's going to be just a small walk but it looks beautiful here it's a really nice forest and we're gonna do a walk alongside this river and we should find two waterfalls which we never visited before so i don't know some weird things happening here in this forest we can hear drums so someone is like uh, i think they're sacrificing someone or that's the start from the car park we're gonna walk the left side of the river there should be one waterfall and then there should be another waterfall and we're gonna come back other side of the river it's a about four kilometer walk so hopefully it should be nice and easy before we head home look at these big trees they're massive so yeah probably this place holds quite a lot of history but we have no idea about any of that history we said there's some gum gun well, there's a gunpowder works and a gold mine so i'm Ooh. assuming it was very popular for the miners and are we going like to that. search for some gold uh, let's find this waterfall then Don't know why it's that. Let's see, we'll double check that. So, this pretty cool building was called the magazine. It was used to store barrels of dried gunpowder. In fact, around 20 tons could be stored here at any one time. The design of the building was created to protect the barrels of gunpowder from damage should any of the other surrounding buildings explode. Now that is future proofing. This is the Corning House, a derelict building that played an important part of the gunpowder process. Corning was a production that granulated slate-like sheets of gunpowder into fine granules. This is the Mixing House, one of the larger of the buildings. This was where gunpowder was weighed and portioned before being mixed. The ingredients were mixed, likely by a water turbine, to create a biscuit-like dough. We're starting to see the first waterfall. It's right there. I think we need to try to get down there. Oh, I think there should be one more on our left. And that's gonna be the one that we're gonna check on the way back. This is the incorporating mill. This is the building where small lumps get squashed into sheets, ready for the corning process. We reached the first waterfall. Look at this.
first one. On to the second one. Of course, more signs. Like there's quite a lot of cycling trails around this forest. It looks so fun. If we had bikes, I'd be all over it. Yeah. yeah. It's worth that be a lot of fun. Yeah, so this bridge is a our turning point, the point where we're starting head heading back. Th this one was a bit uh, slightly uh, disappointing because that's all I can see. We can't really get next to the waterfall unless we decide to go down there. So, there is waterfall number two. What did we learn today about this place? See, look, once upon a time, people could come here and mine oh. gold. So, in 1888, they mined 255 kilograms of gold. Yes, which would be about 9 million pounds worth. 9 million pounds. So, literally, everywhere is going to be... Uh, like tunnels. So not nine days, million, it? but nine million in, in those times. No, in today, in today. around nine million pounds now. Oh. I wonder if there's somebody somewhere, I bet there is, there's like a family member somewhere that's got a piece of jewellery made from the gold that was found here. It's in like Welsh heirloom. mountains. A red wedding ring or a necklace or something. Oh, 100% there is one. Somebody somewhere has got a ring or something made from yeah. the gold that was found here like two years ago. That's nice. It's pretty cool now. Mm. Let's head back to the car and see what's next. The sun is coming out, it was a beautiful day. Rain's gone. I quite like the rain, it was quite refreshing. It was, it was nice. And we reached our last bridge. We crossed the river, head back to the car and head home. But look at this bridge. The car we are at the end of the trip. So that was the walk, the good walk. It was a lovely walk actually. Uh, that was just right. Yeah, it's, it's really always nice to come back to forest. Trees like this. It's really nice. And the day is getting better and better. <laughs> Typically <laughs> on the day that we're due to travel home yeah. the sun comes out. But in all honesty we have had very good weather since the start. Perfect. Beautiful. So, mind the drums playing in the Still background. Not sure what that is, but yeah, <laughs> free drum session. That's gonna be uh, end of this video. And if you watch it all this time, thanks. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you can leave a like and comment. That really helps to us. And we're gonna see you on next one. Bye. Bye.